Hello, welcome back. So, <laughs> this tumbler, I um, was trying a new technique with my fall tumbler that I'm, some of y'all may have seen. I will link the um, the tutorial that I did on this a while back. I will link that there. But I was, I normally do a epoxy and then I put the glitter on there. I was going to try spraying the glitter. And so I sprayed it with the Loctite and then I went in and went back inside and I started to glitter it and it fell off onto the parchment paper into all of the glitter. And so it is still, it was still sticky and it had all of that green glitter that I was not planning on having all over it. So I am going to make this a tumbler that I can actually use. So what I'm doing here is I am taking glitters from the Glitter Ranch, different colors, and I am just, I'm doing a, a, a Vanessa VMD Designs, I think does this all the time. And I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do a peekaboo and I'm gonna show you how you can kind of make something work after you totally screw it up. You don't have to strip it. I can just, we can just go right in and put a bunch of glitters on top of here and cover up our mistake. So I just kept going back and forth with different glitters and pulling, taking them off, taking the uh, parchment paper off there at the bottom, putting the glitter back in, you know, saving what I could. Uh, and I just took like four different colors that I thought were very fall-like and very leaf, leafy color and that kind of thing. Because the, the brown, I had that wood stain underneath. So I wanted to go with a color that if any of that was to pop up for any reason, that the colors would totally mask it in any way. So it, we wouldn't be able to tell at all. And all of these are such beautiful fall colors. So in the end, after I put everything on there, I went in with autumn which is a color shift color. And I just sprinkled it pretty much everywhere that I could see a hole. And it has this beautiful orange, brown, green, almost a purple. It's, it's a very, very cool color. And so I just kind of put that wherever I thought it needed some extra color. And then I actually dabbed it on the bottom because I thought, why not just put that color on the bottom? Since we were at the end, it just worked out well. So these are the colors I ended up using, Cup of Joe and Autumn Color Shift. And then I was using Longhorn, which is a metallic orange. And then the last one was Sage, which is a gorgeous sagey green that, were, that was actually the color that I was using um, at the bottom there that, that all of it fell in. <laughs> So the, the green, the sage was actually all over the cup. So I had to throw that in there as well. And then the last one there was vacay, which is a gorgeous champagne metallic that I, I just, I'm in love with that. I use it all the time for a lot of different things. So then I just patted it down with that wax paper that I had underneath there. And then at the top there, I kind of missed a few spots. So I was taking some of the glitter that had fallen and sprinkling it up there. So I um, went ahead and sealed this with just some spray sealer. Just, I didn't really care if it moved too much, but I didn't want it just like a bunch of chunks coming off because I didn't want the, it to move away from the, uh, that we were trying to cover up that wood grain, right? So I just sprayed it with some sealer just to, just to kind of kind of lock everything in place. And then I actually went in with this coat of epoxy and then I went in with another coat of epoxy right after this because it was a very chunky glitter. So I went in with two coats of epoxy. And then after that, I went in with my file and my sanding block. Now there were some really chunky bits just poking out everywhere on the bottom and all around the cup and so even after that second coat of epoxy I was like we have got I've got to get this sanded down I gotta get this just smooth 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 because I wanted to do a peekaboo and so I did not want to to I did not want to 
put the spray paint over it with it being chunky or being sanded I really wanted a smooth smooth surface so you can see here I took my razor blade and cut off some of that excess um, you know uh, bits that were up on the top there and then I went outside and used my Dremel and drum and dremeled the entire edge now what I did with the Dremel is I went down a lot further than I normally would so I did a lot of sanding by the way <laughs> this is a lot of filing I did a lot of filing on the bottom and I love my file because you don't ever really have to replace it it's so great for that so like I said I took the Dremel out, I took it outside and dremeled the, the edge there. Now, the rim, I went down a little bit further because that way when we do the peekaboo that we have a little bit of room to work with and that we're not filing down into or sanding down into that wood grain or the glitter or whatnot. So um, Jessica Flynn, the queen of all, taught me that. And so I was like, that that makes a lot, more, a lot of sense. So I'm going to do that the next time I do a peekaboo. And so here we are. So I'm, I sanded down after I filed everything. I dremeled the, the rim and then I took it and gave it a good wash. And then I went back in with my sanding block and really, really sanded the edge now. And I wasn't too worried about sanding down the, the glitter or anything, although we had two coats of epoxy on here. But because we were going to be putting a peekaboo, I mean, we were going to put putting spray paint over this. So, but I went to town and made this as smooth as possible because I did not want another coat of epoxy because I had already had two coats of epoxy from when I did the wood grain. So this was going to get pretty thick and heavy pretty fast. So here I was putting that last coat of epoxy after I did all of that sanding and everything. I was, I had it on the very far turner for some reason so I'm like zoomed in but anyways this is just to basically say that after I did all that sanding and filing and the rim dremeled the rim and all of that I for sure I put another beautiful coat of epoxy on here so that we could have a smooth smooth surface when we do that peekaboo so after all of that sanding and all of that filing and all of the dremel and everything and then that final coat of epoxy there not final coat but you know what I'm saying final coat before we went into the peekaboo this was smooth 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 I did not have any places anywhere that I needed to sand so that that way when I put the peekaboo stuff on there that when we go outside to spray paint this that it was going to be a smooth smooth surface and that's what I wanted so I was just putting um, something in here so that I didn't touch the cup so many times because um, I didn't want fingerprints and all that to be on there for when I put the decals on and then when I went outside to paint it so I just put um, you know a wand in there and then I just cut out a bunch of and I will I will link all of these in my Facebook group so they will be in there for y'all to use for whatever you want and they're just leaves and little pumpkins with like little twirlies at the top and um, I used removable vinyl and I highly 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 recommend removable vinyl or stencil vinyl um, the place that I get a lot of my vinyl from has a bunch of removable vinyl and I get it in all kinds of like crazy colors that I wouldn't normally buy in vinyl that way I know which ones are which and so and then also just so that maybe I could see it through the paint or whatever I'm doing it just depends but I just continue to put like like the uh, I put the the pumpkins I put one on the front side and one on the back side and then I did it on the top but I flipped it where they were on the front and the back but opposite from these so <laughs> I hope that makes sense when you see it you'll understand but what I was doing here was the pumpkins like the one side of it was kind of like really cut really close to the other little you know piece of the pumpkin there so I kind of spread them out just a little bit because I just wanted that line to kind of show through so it would look like it had like a little outline there so that's what I was doing there so you can see here that that see I put the pumpkin on the in the middle but on the top of the two so anyways I just kind of thought it would it would be kind of neat to kind of offset them like that and then I just put the leaves around I, I cut a whole bunch of leaves because I wasn't sure how many I would use I wasn't sure 
if um, I was going to cover the whole thing or if I was going to leave a space for like a decal or something. But I ended up going a different route and you'll see that here in a minute. But I just added the different leaves. I tried to get every single one of the different shapes and styles of leaves on there so that we had, um, you know, some interest all the way around the cup. So I took this outside and I will link the two colors that I used, but this is a, uh, I just did an ombre with these two colors I found at Walmart the other day that were a new color, like vintage something. And I don't even know, but I will, I will link the colors down below, but I just did just a basic ombre, um, nothing to it. I did a little bit on the top, a little bit on the bottom, and then I kind of made sure that the, the middle was just um, gradient enough. And the colors are just enough to where they're not going to be like so uh, distracting from each other, I guess, I guess you could say. Like, you know, they just kind of fade into one another. And so I just very carefully after that peeled off all of my decals, just, I mean, all of the removable vinyl and revealed the peekaboo underneath, which was so gorgeous with that color. It's just very, very subtle fall color, which I thought was gorgeous. So I went back and forth on this because, you know, in the beginning, I didn't really have a plan for this because I was trying to cover up a mistake that I made, right? So I decided that I was maybe going to do an offset, but then I was like, no, nah, well, you know, that's just like too much work. I'll just take a paint pen and I'll do a paint pen in gold and I'll just trace everything around, right? Well, the gold that I had in a pack that I bought, um, I don't even know where I bought it, maybe Amazon or zoo lily or something but and then i remembered that i bought all these artesa acrylic paint markers the other gold was like way too it, it just did not the color of gold just did not go well and i wasn't sure about this gold either when i was looking at it i was like i don't think this is going to work either i think it's going to be just that same kind of yellow like way too yellowy orangey color and i put on that first i was like let me try the other side let me do this and then i was like no, that's horrible. <laughs> I was like, that is not going to work. And I was like, so confused because I did not know what I wanted to do. I was just like, man. So I saw this elephant gray color and I thought, I'm going to try this. I'm going to just try it out and see what happens. And so I took this beautiful elephant gray, this dark gray, and I traced, ended up tracing every all of these leaves around with this color and it turned out so cool i mean this was just like a, a trial and error kind of thing i just thought if this comes out and it works out well i'm gonna post this on my channel and just and just, just prove to y'all that you can take something that you just thought was a disaster and that was sitting on your shelf and you can say you know what i'm gonna make this work i am gonna make this work <laughs> And then you can take three different markers and try it that way and then decide that you're going to go with this elephant gray against golds and browns and pink. I mean, you know, who knew, but it worked out really cool and it just had this real subtle rustic fall feel to it. Um, I was, I was very, very happy and it was just kind of like a whoopsie. Well, let's see what happens here. So I just kept going around and just tracing all of these I was really not trying to be uh, perfect at all because some of them had like little jagged edges and that kind of thing so I just I just went with the flow just whatever I felt like it needed to be now this is where I decided that I was like you know what I'm just gonna write I'm just gonna write what I want to say on here and so I just took the the marker and just wrote the word the words hello fall and I thought, you know, why can't, why can't you just use the acrylic paint and just, you know, use that instead of vinyl? I mean, we were breaking all the rules here. We were doing all kinds of different things. So um, I did the F a little kind of like crazy. And so I, I just took, took a little bit of alcohol there and just kind of cleaned up the little F, the little lines on the F there. But I thought it really just kind of had like, this whole thing at that point and you know when I was looking at it and, and dealing with it it just had this rustic feel and so I just kind of went with it and just did just kind of like a love letter to fall kind of thing so I just wrote 
that just wrote it on there just like why not let's let's see how it looks let's let's just go for broke and see all the different types of techniques that you could do on this particular tumbler I did kind of go back over and thicken up the lines just a little bit just um, I was kind of a little bit out of frame wasn't sure where I was at this point I was so like I don't know what I'm doing maybe this is great I don't know we'll see but I'm just putting it out there for y'all this is something maybe you you know I don't know it just I just thought it just kind of had a different vibe and I just went with the whole thing so I was happy I was really happy so I ended up since the elephant gray was like so it was just kind of like a muted color I thought you know what let's add some glitter to the epoxy and so I have this glimmer dust I think it's called glimmer dust I will definitely link it below but it is a it's from radio radioactive glitters and it is this beautiful kind of rose gold holographic um, additive that you can put in there and I thought since we have these two pinks you know kind of a pinky color or whatever and then this gray I thought this would definitely be able to give us a little bit of a a little bit of shine a little bit of sparkle for you know and and kind of bring out a little bit of that gray that was just kind of you know muted a little bit I've said that already but anyways I'm repeating myself <laughs> but it really really ended up sparkling so much after this and it just I don't know it's just a neat cute little idea and I wanted to bring it to you guys and show you that you can make um, something out of a mess that you've made and you can just you know you can do something something with it you know try to do something with it before you go and try and strip it and all that you know maybe you can make it work okay and there she is so sparkly I love it anyways I hope you really took some inspiration from this I hope you're looking at those tumblers that you have sitting on your shelf instead of stripping them try to come up with something cool that you can maybe redo and make it beautiful again I believe that you can anyways um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial also please join my Facebook group the link is down below I will have all of these images in a file there with the YouTube uh, tutorial you know folder anyways join my group and please tag me if you remake it and i will see you next time